We can't dig to the center of the earth, but that hasn't stopped us from trying. Whether efforts to dig to the center of the earth or some of the world's widest open pit mines, humankind has done some serious digging. In this video, you will explore some of the craziest man made holes out there through both ice and land. Hola Super Deep Borehole, Russia. Don't mind the 9 inches diameter, instead focus on the Kola Super Deep Borehole's unmatched 7.5 miles depth. Started in 1970 by Russian scientists on Kola Peninsula of Russia, ultimately became the deepest hole in the world, deeper than even the deepest part of the ocean. After about 20 years of digging and experimentation, the 356 Fahrenheit temperature at that depth, however, made it impossible for tools to keep going. The site has been abandoned since 2008 and the hole bolted shut, so nothing can get in or out. The Bingham Canyon Mine, Utah Over 100 years old, the world's largest copper mine includes 2.5 miles wide pit in the southwest mountains of Salt Lake City, Utah. Considered the largest man-made excavation, the mine dips nearly three-quarters of a mile down and covers 1,900 acres. First started in 1906 and the mine is still open, but that hasn't kept it from being named a National Historic Landmark with a visitor center for folks who want to come. Davik Diamond Mine, Canada One of the newer holes on the list, the Davik Diamond Mine opened in 2003 and has reached deeper than 600 feet in the Canadian Arctic. Located on the east island northeast of Yellowknife, the mine is accessible by plane. There's a gravel runaway big enough for a Boeing 737 and an ice road. And that's only if the weather is good enough. The mine yields 3,300 pounds of diamond annually by digging the ice. The Kimberley Diamond Mine, Africa Located in Africa and known as one of the largest handmade holes in the world. The big hole actually started as a bit of a hill with more than 50,000 miners pickaxing their way into the soil starting in 1866. Kimberley Diamond Mine sunk more than 700 feet and expanded to the over 1,500 feet in width by 1914. More than 6,000 pounds of diamonds were pulled from what is still understandably a tourist destination. The Berkeley Pit, Montana Opened in 1955 as a way to mine for copper in Montana, the Berkeley Pit grew to a depth of 1,700 feet before it was closed down in 1982. Since that time, the pit has filled over 900 feet worth of groundwater and rainwater combined with the heavy metals and chemicals of the prior mining operation. The water has turned highly acidic and measures are taken to keep the birds out of the water even since a 342 bird flock of snow geese died inside the mile long. Murni Mine, Russia There are claims that winds around Siberian Murni Mine sucks unsuspecting helicopters into its 1,700 feet deep pit swell. But even with those rumors aside, the diamond mine that begins in 1955 remains full of limits, deep enough to hold a 150-story skycrapper inside. Stalin's diamond mine stretches 3,900 feet across and one of the largest excavated pits in the world. And even though work in the open pit mine has ceased, Russia still mines underground in the site. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory, Antarctica Thanks to the University of Wisconsin, the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica has 86 cables that reach beneath the ice, supporting 60 digital optical modules that relay data from depth to the surface above, and that surface is a long ways away. The modules hang at depths starting at 4,750 feet all the way down to the over 8,000 feet or 1.5 miles. It took seven years to drill holes from the cables done in Southern Hemisphere summer with a 25,000 pounds hot water hose that melted roughly 200,000 gallons of water per hole. This was it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like for this video. See you in the next video.